Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite fighting games. Fighting games are a staple in almost every collection that, that people have out there. Um, it's been a genre that's, again, like very old uh, and been in most of uh, the video game history. Um, you know, in, me and my friends, we always played a, played fighting games growing up and stuff like that. Just that feeling of competition. And I'm not saying that any of us were really any that good. We never went on to like win tournaments or anything like that. But uh, you know, we're just going to go over um, some of my favorite fighting games. Um, the first one is uh, oh, again, there's actually no particular order on this. Um, just you know, going through. Uh, uh, my first one to, to go over is the Guilty Gear series. Uh, it's released on various systems, um, you know, it's, uh, by Arc System Works. By uh, um, around 1998 is when the first one was released, I believe. Um, now, the my, one of my favorite things was on the original PlayStation, popping that disc in for the first time and hearing that soundtrack was just phenomenal. Um, you know, that, that full, you know, metal guitar feel and, and how gritty the game was and stuff like that. I, I absolutely fell in love, like, even before I hit the start button. Uh, uh, and my other favorite part of this game was if you actually did a, uh, a fatality move, you actually went through and there was no second round if you created if you completed a fatality move in the first round because your opponent was dead so you just got to move on it was it was very innovative um you know, it, it just did a wonderful job with everything and they continued to pump out really really good uh music and you know fast combat good combo system uh, next up we have Super Street Fighter 2, released on various systems, 1993 by Capcom. Uh, Super Street Fighter 2 was the introduction of uh, multiple new characters into the series, and I think they did a great job. Uh, I liked the combo system, I liked how everything just kind of flowed really nice, I liked how they how the, the, the new characters felt polished and not rushed and stuff like that. I've already talked about this game in the past, so I'm just going to leave you guys with a little bit extra footage, uh, you know, of some of the gameplay of this game. Next up we have Techromancer, released on the Dreamcast in 1998, but also by Capcom. Uh, Capcom released quite a few of uh, the uh, oddball fighting games and just, you know, they, they went all out on the Dreamcast for some reason, um, releasing several games uh, of different types and stuff. But Techromancer was this 3D uh, fighting game based on robots that felt like a Saturday morning cartoon. It was, it was awesome. Uh, a lot of the characters are very innovative. Um, you actually had to hit a button to jump, which was uh, also pretty cool. Um, yeah, and it, they just did a wonderful job. It's a great game. Uh, if you can get it on Dreamcast, I would highly suggest it. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, also on Dreamcast, uh, released by Capcom in 2000. Uh, it's just a, a really great game. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, and again, I've spoken about this game. It's going to leave you guys with some more of the uh, game footage. Bloody Roll was released on various consoles by Hudson Soft and Knight, starting in 1997. Um, I really liked this concept. It was more of a, a 3D style fighter uh, where you would transform into these were creatures, like a werewolf or a were tiger or anything like that. Uh, very fast paced, um, although it still felt tactical on 
you need to knew, you needed to know what your button inputs were going to be before you even actually did them. So uh, studying your combos, studying your opponent's combos that they used quite often was really useful. Um, uh, and me and my neighbor, uh, Captain Atron, uh, you know, we've played this game uh, a couple of times and just had a lot of fun playing this thing and just beating the crap out of each other. And it, it's just a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's definitely a good series to get into. It should be very cheap. Um, unfortunately, I think they ended the series around the PlayStation 2. I'm, I'm really hopeful that Hudson Soft will actually come out and create a, and just pick the series back up again. You know, please Hudson Soft, please do this for me. Well, that's it for this episode of Monday Designs. I'm your host, Monday, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking the link below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.